Hi, this is Barb Wooler, Director of Crisis Response for Encompass World Partners. I'd like to share with you some of the powerful things we've been seeing God do recently through some of the really difficult crises we've been engaging. But first, allow me to share with you some of the good things that we've seen happening through Hand in Hand Orphan Schools. Penn Valley Church's Hand in Hand School in the Central African Republic is called the Busimbele School, and it's taught by Teacher Toma. Here are your children this past year at Christmas time. This was a good school year, not just for your school, but also for all 40 of our Hand in Hand schools. Our Africa Area Hand in Hand Director, Emmanuel Boyete, reports that 93% of our students advance to the next grade level and 158 of our children accepted Jesus as their Savior and were baptized this year. We praise God that our dedicated African teachers are leading their students not just academically, but also spiritually. Around the world, we are seeing God bring beauty from ashes, or put another way, to bring awesome out of uki. Believe it or not, this ugly rock has precious gold in it, and this dirty rock is full of precious diamonds. But until the rock is broken into bits and placed in the fire, and until the diamonds are chipped out of the dirty stone, cleaned and cut, their beauty remains hidden. Once this rigorous process is completed, however, beauty is revealed and beautiful things can happen. This is a metaphor the Bible uses for the rigorous, fiery process our faith must go through to be purified, strengthened, and made beautiful. During times of testing, we quickly reach the end of our own strength and that makes room now in our hearts for God's strength. As the hymn writer puts it, when we've reached the end of our hoarded resources, our Father's full giving has only begun. And so we see over and over and over again how God is in crisis, drawing people closer to himself. So let's see some examples from the last few months. I had the privilege in late June to visit our Ukrainian partners in Kyiv, Ukraine at the New Life Church. The war there is awful, and many are grieving deep losses. Losses of homes, possessions, family connections, friends, the loss of loved ones. For many years, this man in the red shirt, named Yora, has wanted to plant a church in his hometown of Borodyanka, but it never seemed like the right time. Well, then the war came, and people in his hometown are grieving. That's when God gave him the nudge to finally act on this desire to plant a church there. This is us praying in the building Yoda rented, and on July 21st, that new church plant was started. Each Sunday since, at least 20 people are attending the services there. And so it is that this beautiful church plant is a fruit of a terrible war. Many Ukrainians have been forced to leave their country, like this 17-year-old gal named Solomia. We were able to transport her from Poland to Germany, and then on to France, where she stayed for two months with a Karis pastor's family, until she was finally able to come to the USA to live with her Ukrainian aunt in Hughesville, Pennsylvania. So it is that this new life for Solomia is a fruit of a terrible war. Over 60% of Ukraine's wheat and other crops end up in Africa. Of course, the war is putting all who depend on Ukrainian food at risk. We have tried to be proactive in caring for this need in the four countries where we have churches in Central Africa, in Chad, Cameroon, Nigeria, and the Central African Republic. We have sent out a team of agricultural specialists with thousands of dollars of farming tools and many tons of seed to help our Karis friends sow a lot of crops this year. 
sow to the edges of their fields and break ground on new fields. At harvest time, we'll buy their extra grain to provide for 5,000 plus refugees we are caring for in various locations in Central Africa. And should the prediction of global agencies such as the UN turn out to be right, we will have reserves of grain to help people short on food. This increase in grain production for food and much needed cash is a fruit of the terrible war in Ukraine. Muslim violence on Central Africans, both Christians and other Muslims, has created a lot of misery in the Central African Republic. Three churches in Chad are caring for 4,000 CAR refugees, and most recently, a Karis church in Bokaranga, Central African Republic, received 2,000 displaced people fleeing the violent attacks of Muslim herders. In addition to providing tarps, food, and relief supplies, we are also helping the children by providing hand-in-hand -hand schools. These schools will care for the academic needs of these children, but also help provide for emotional needs of children who saw and experienced really hard things when they fled their villages. School can go a long way in providing a sense of normalcy, which is a strong step towards healing the invisible wounds of the heart from trauma. So it is that, as a result of these evil attacks on families in Central Africa, many children are being helped in schools, and many people are hearing the gospel for the very first time. This is the perfect place to say thank you to Penn Valley Church for your generous contribution to provide grain for African families living as refugees last year. Our grain project helped over 5,000 people during the hungriest months of the 2021-2022 year. On July 28th, hundreds of families in some of the poorest regions of the USA were flooded when heavy storms dumped too much water in too short a time. Camby is just one of those families. The horrible floodwaters, which swept away lives and livelihoods and possessions, has opened doors for us to show and tell the love of Jesus in concrete ways to families who have lost so much. It's amazing that out of the ashes of horrible, ugly, even evil things, God can bring beauty. That just shows the awesome and loving power of our wonderful Heavenly Father. Thank you.